Hello, hola, my name is Felipe Galindo Fego. I am an illustrator, cartoonist, animator, and educator. Today I would like to talk to you about a special celebration, the Day of the Dead or Dia de Muertos. It is celebrated on November 2nd throughout Mexico and Latin America, and sometimes in other places by people of Mexican ancestry. In the U.S. also, it follows the celebration of Halloween on October 31st, and by now sometimes both uh, festivities intertwine. In this tradition, people recall family members or friends who have died and have gone on a spiritual journey. This tradition is a combination of the Catholic faith and pre-Columbian Aztec rituals and symbols. Scholars trace the origin of this modern Mexican holiday to indigenous observances dating to centuries before the arrival of the Spaniards in the 16th century, and to, ast to an Aztec festival dedicated to the god Mictlan Tecutli, which means Lord of the Underworld. Tradition connected with this holiday include building private altars at home called ofrendas to honor the deceased. On the altars, we display religious imagery, photos of the departed, some of their favorite foods and beverages, Sempasuchitl, it's a flower called marigold in the US. Sometimes we display also sugar or clay skulls. And kids sometimes also like to put kind of skeletons made of tin or clay. Sometimes there are scenes made on little boxes in, in which everyday life situations are reproduced there. Another tradition consists of going to the cemetery and to clean the graves of the deceased, placing fresh flowers or praying for their souls. Some families also like to have on site a meal the relative used to enjoy. They also like to play guitar, sing tunes, all this to celebrate their memories. They believe the souls will come back and dwell among them on this special day. In Mexico, most cemeteries are not like those in the modern USA. Many tombs are air graves with simple wooden cross. People kind of dress these air mounds and they make them look very festive on this particular day. In the 19th century, the Mexican illustrator Jose Guadalupe Posada drew cartoons of famous politicians or well-known personalities as skeletons, illustrating poems or texts lampooning such people as if it was their obituary. The Hispanic society has some etchings of Posada in its collection. They were printed on cheap paper. Those pamphlets were sold on the street, as we can see even an illustration by, by Posada. The muralist Diego Rivera rediscovered in the mid 20th century this almost forgotten artist. And now his work is synonymous with the Day of the Dead celebrations. And this one announces the arrival of an electric trolley that will take people directly to the Dolores Cemetery in Mexico City. This cemetery is still active to this day. Porzara is also known for the Calavera Catrina, the one I'm showing here. Uh, Catrin means uh, somebody who is the dandy. And Catrina is the female counterpart of that because death in, Sp in Spanish is a feminine word. And this particular image is very popular. Being myself an illustrator and cartoonist, I have created many images related to this tradition. These are a couple of samples, and in one of them, as you can see, I'm merging both traditions, the Day of the Dead and Halloween. After all this information, now let's have fun and do some artwork and art activity. Let's create our own uh, skeleton with just simple materials. So let's begin. This is a sample of the art activity I invite you to work on today. Day of the Dead or Dia de Muertos Q-tip skeleton. All we need are the following materials. Q-tips, different papers, they can be colored, white, they can be bond or stock paper, scissors, glue, pencils, some markers. For this activity, we will have to cut uh, five Q-tips in half. 
as I showed you before. So now we have all these half Q-tips and we're gonna uh, place, them, place the ribs in a different position. So, they can be slightly slanted. And the, the glue I suggest, I recommend, is, is called uh, sticky glue, which uh, ad adheres easily. It's a little sticky, as the name says it, and, uh, and it's, it's, it's easier to work with for this art activity. Once I have all the ribs in place. Again, we're gonna position the, the, the legs. Could be a little bit inside. In this case, let's make this skeleton a little scary. Now the arms. Okay. I think I'm missing one cute tip in half. Well, let's cut it now. Let's place the hands. No, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> now for this, it's cool. Let's, let's cut our previously drawn skull. And again, let's play some uh, glue on the back. And let's give her the ribbon also we previously drew. Make it look a little bit elegant, like the Katrina we talked about before. Okay, so now it is. So this is how, oh, also I wanted to show you now you can add other elements, like the flower. Let's place it also on, on her head. Make her very festive. And what I did with all these, we can add other elements. You can also play with color on the, on the frame of the I'm doing it here with a marker, but you can also do it with paper, okay? You can add collage or little details of, of different color papers to add movement to the skeleton, to the or Day of the Dead uh, art activity. This is how they look, finished, okay? I'm gonna show you two more samples I previously did. Okay. The idea is, as I said before, to have fun and celebrate the Day of the Dead, El Día de los Muertos. Hope you enjoy the activity. Have fun. Thank you. Goodbye. Adios.